Welcome back. Okay. Where are we? We've got... S the vassals are going really well. We've got two supreme vassals now. We've got a Whispering Stone free, which I will plug into this guy. Aragorn is already um, on this. What is the 132? No, I'm not going to do that. Uh, but we could launch a spell on them. So how are we doing? We are minus 11. Why is that going down? Oh, is that where we've come from, maybe? We're heading in the positive. Okay, let's see. We are getting... How much are we getting a turn? Um, really, it's turn 4. Boost, 132. No. Okay, we are, should also be getting four with you. So, vassalage in one turn. Okay, nice. Um, good, let's see. How much are you giving us? 65 gold, 35 man 36 mana, and 30 research. That is very nice. And you're giving us 42 gold, 32 mana. Our mana, looking at our mana, that is very low again, isn't it? We did, sorry, wrong button. We did launch the minor race trait. That took a lot of mana. Let's quickly check our cities. Um... Tribunal. We need to get the monolith online. Um, build three quarries. Okay, so that is technically boosted. We'll put, line that up. That will be boosted. It's just been pillaged. Let's get you in there. Let's get you back in the action. Uh, what are you... Mages Guild. Starting rank for support unit. That's nice. Uh, so based on our current situation, we would get 30 income. do the market so we can actually grow and we 100% want to get a right what's we own this so we could get a quarry down a gold mine which we will do so let's do that quarry perfect um, so we need two quarries for the guild Is that worth it though? 15 turns. How is that so bad? We are building a stonemason. Okay, I'm going to leave you for the moment. Let's get to the Shire. Monolith. Go. Did we need. No, we're not done with you. Okay, um, that's a mine. I'm just thinking in terms of preparation. If we go for the guild, it's four quarries, so I need to change one now. Um, that will also speed up production. two more quarries. We're not going to get population in time at 17 turns. Is this the other quarry? Yes it is. No it's not. That's a mine. Um, I just don't understand why the mana is so low. Unit upkeep.
Okay. I wonder how I can improve this. The guild seems a little bit undervalued, but 30th turn is quite good, I suppose. Um, we could try and annex this as well. Can I get a quarry there? Yes, I can. Hmm. So I've done a quarry there. This is the other quarry. 17 turns. Ooh. Okay, our gold is okay. I'm going to change that to a quarry. That will up our production, which is really bad in this city for some reason. We are getting the stonemason online. Okay, well that's done, that's done. You've moved. Okay, let's check. Free city can be integrated. Message received. Who is this message? Aragorn, son of Lanf, has proven themselves worthy as friend to me. A shared friendship between you and Aragorn can only make us stronger. Okay, that should be a boost. Um, negotiate. I don't think we can do an alliance just yet. Seven turns. Do you have any new items? No. How much is this? 442 gold. No, thank you. Um, free city negotiations succeeded. Whispering Stone has returned. Okay. Oh. That is. Sorry, wrong button. That is new. When did that happen? We just checked this, didn't we? Oh, yeah. I gave the Whispering Stone to these guys. Sorry. I got that already. We did that at the beginning. Um, how is Gollum doing? He is moving very slowly. I can only imagine he must be underground. Which we can't tell from that. Okay, let's crack on with our main quest. So we got this hero coming in. Um, okay. start a siege. Let's see. Hopefully. Wow. That is a long siege. Um, okay, we'll go for that. So let's reduce it to two. I do like this one, but it doesn't reduce the siege time. I'm not spending 250 gold. And I'm not taking damage. So I could afford 100 gold there. So I've got to wait 7 turns. That is a madness. What we can do though. Is do some. Sieging. Now the irony is. Is this is something we want to do. I feel fairly confident. He's not going to come out of the fog of war. With just a huge army. However saying that. It has been done to me before. Um, and this is his capital. This is where he will spawn from. So I feel fairly confident to pillage. Um, now I am going to take the city on as a as my next city. So you do have that thing that if you pillage, you've got to repair everything. But in essence, you make 25 gold per pillage. Um, I think I think we're good with the two pillages for the moment. I don't I don't want my guys to be locked down too much. Okay, uh, negotiation succeeded. That is the um, vassalage. One hundred and ten. 
Will wait. Melt armor. That's a buff spell. Good. Inquisitor. Is that the tier one or three? Okay. Um. That is very nice, actually. I haven't actually played with the skirmisher. So once per turn for adaptive armor, whenever enchanted units sustain non-physical damage, they gain bolstered resistance and status protection. And that's passive. We'll go for the adaptive armor. I feel quite strong with my units at the moment, so I'm not going to go for the Inquisitor. Okay, orders required. Yep, keep going. Alright, let's take out. Can we get him? Yes, we can. Ooh. That is a risky battle. Okay, so Saruman must be very strong then. Oh, that is two heroes. Okay, fair enough. Um, can he reach me? He can, but you you can't. No. We'll leave you... We'll put you on the road, so you can have better transport. You can be reached, but this guy... Can, actually, if... I've got to remember that they're not stacked. I think that should be... So you can get there, that's one, two, three. So Sandman does attack me, he can still... Just being a little bit cautious. These guys will catch up in the next turn. do have that quest. So they've gone now. Do we want to chase them down or do we want to go down here? Um, I do want to get this. Let's quickly check our... Um, Fifty percent less gold. That's very nice. Let's have a quick check on our leaders and see how we're doing. We've got 14 points, which is a lot. Um, okay. I will get that Imperium, but I'll do that after we've got the city. Now I'm just thinking, oh, this can uh, be repaired. I can't remember what the strength of this was. It's a tier two, so. Infestation of forces. So they'll be coming down here. That's fine. Um. I think we want to head down here, don't we? Okay, I'm going to go on the proviso that Saruman has gone now. Okay, let's meet up there. I should also mention, I noticed earlier... Sorry, wrong, wrong menu. I would like to recruit a Legolas hero. So if we have a look... Oh, this is a bug. Uh, where has he gone? Here. This guy here. So he's an archer and an elf. So we can recruit him and make him look a bit more like Legolas. But he's currently 750 gold, which is expensive. So we can maybe buy him when we've integrated the city. Received a trade proposal. Oh, peace. Ha! Huh. Uh, no. It is because you know your doom is incoming, my friend. Still skin. 
Okay. What is the uh, mana upkeep for this? We'll find out. But that's a very good skill, that one. Okay, we are lightning... Um, lightning... Uh, what's the word? Lightning... Weak. We are weak to lightning. Archon Blood acquired. New Empire development skill available. Rule of Sauron has arrived. Hobbiton production stonemason set production at Hobbiton. Okay. Where is Hobbiton? Oh, all of a sudden we've got five quarries. What happened there? Oh, is it because the pillage ones hadn't been repaired yet? Surely not. Okay, well that... Let's get the guild up then. And we're going to abort this one. We don't need... Um, we don't need that many quarries. Okay, good. So... That's nice. Okay, that's good. So, um, Shire, you're doing the monolith. And then the three, you're doing... We do need to get another quarry for you. So let's buy production and get you a quarry. Okay, so I'm going to do a quarry there. Oh, focus crystals. I did not notice that. Okay, we have a lot of magic materials. Now, these are all ones that I own now, I think, and that I can sell. So this is rainbow. So we can sell a silver fruit, that's for sure. We've got two of those, and we've got two crystals. Good. Uh, so we've got a crystal and a silver fruit that we own in our actual property. Um, so I will sell those. What was this one? Astral Jew. Okay. So we'll sell these to... Aragorn, let's check you first. Negotiate. Why can I only sell that one? Is that because maybe he doesn't want any other ones? Let's check Gladria. Um... I don't really understand. And why is it still giving me the option to sell her this information? I don't understand why I can't sell them the others. Is that probably because they've got them? That's all I can assume. Focus of crystals acquired. Right. Let's end the turn. Okay, so this punk is going up here now. What is he going to do? Oh, so he's going back to his city. Interesting. Knowledge sharing. Every time I hear about the Shire, I'm amazed by your newest arcane breakthrough. It seems like you are advancing by leaps and bounds while we still crawl like newborn babes. Would you, the brilliant Gandalf, be interested in educating my people so that we may follow you on the path of knowledge? For six turns, we lose 32 knowledge. We do not need the relationship boost. Receives 200 gold. Um, mm, that's interesting.
I have no idea if that's a good deal or not. Um, but I'm going to take the gold. Why is that claimed? Is that because I went to that first? We are going to shift to increase our research dramatically, but I want to make sure gold and mana is up and running first. Uh, spell ready to cast. We want to do... Um, yeah, we'll do Faithful Whispers, and we'll put that on... Shark and Alex of Pro Pro Province. Okay, what have we got down here? For some reason I can't extend out that far. Okay. Uh, we could do food here. That could be quite nice. Uh, we don't actually need any buildings for any further boosts. Can I go up there, please? Okay, why can't I... Why can't I get here? Could also go there. I don't know why I can't go down here. How many is that away? One, two, three. Three. So that would be four. One, two, three. So that's one, two, three, four. That, this is very odd. So I can go four away from the city. So why can't I? Oh, I'm not in the right city. What an idiot. Come on. Pay attention. Shire, where are you? Shire. This is the one I want. Okay, let's have a quick look around. We have nothing of interest there. I really want this. Could we take that with our new stack? I think we can, actually. So let's do that. Then we don't need to keep trading for this fruit. And what do we need? A research post. Yeah, we don't need any more. Go for research post there. Um, let's bring this stack down. And we'll take this guy out immediately. Uh, you know what? We could. Should I get Legolas now? That seems ex very expensive for s 750 gold. But he is right there and you can join them straight away. How long is the breach? It's five turns, I think. Because I'm pretty sure the price will go down. 750 gold is a lot at this stage. So I'm not prepared to do that. Gosh, I'm getting a bit lost with the map here. Hobbiton, that's the wrong city again. Now, is the Shire... Have we built the top tier town hall we have so I'd really like to do the mint we could do this I would like to get the arcane institute up and running tribunal that could be nice so we could do the tribunal that will get our knowledge up, and then we could do the convent as well. Um, the wizard tower would be good to get that going as well. The crypt. Hmm. And then we could also do production. Let's do the tribunal. Let's just quickly check our... orderly so the next one is 79 over so we would be close to getting harmony 
Uh, I mean, we, we could put a Whispering Stone in as well. That will really help boost the city. Okay. Um, I don't feel I need to do any more. Should we do one more? We only need to repair it. Oh, you've got a wonder. Lovely. Okay, let's just get you. Because the thing is, my thinking, yes, you, you get 75 gold for a pillage, but then you have to spend 50 to repair it. But that is also three turns without that province giving you anything, which is quite a lot. So when you take over, the momentum is very slow for three turns while you're repairing. And I'm not sure that's worth the 25 gold. That's why I'm not pillaging. Another ruler was done out, so that's fine. Adaptive armor. Okay. That is a unit enchantment. Okay, we've gone very different with our tomes. I I am not used to mixing and matching because I've been doing the trophy guide for this game. I've been very linear in picking only the tomes for the particular affinity that I was going for. So this mixing and matching has turned out to be very interesting. So we did um, a tome for nature. We've done a tome for materium. Um... Okay, let's check this tome here. Okay, when taking fatal damage for the first time, makes them unable to die or use offensive abilities for one turn. Wow, that's very powerful. The faithful is not great, but the not dying is uh, basically just means you've got an opportunity to get them out of battle. Uh, desecrated morale, start of battle, healing spires. Yeah, the rest of this time is pretty meh. So just for one. For one good skill. I love the Tyrant Knight. I think that's a great unit. Inflicts 90% chance of becoming permanently mind controlled. Wow. And that's a spell. If successful, gains 60 morale. Wow. If the unit dies, if the unit resists, it dies. Uh, wow. That's a crazy... What is the cost for this? Doesn't tell you. I suspect that's a very expensive spell. Okay, unlocking this tomb, we get uh, Terrifying Aura. Let's just quickly check what that is. That is, uh, at the end of the unit's turn, adjacent enemy units lose five morale. Is that automatically happening when I unlock the tome? Tomb? Tome? Tome. Uh, skill points learn for formal warfare skills to unlock. Um, if that's passive, that's pretty good. Uh, Besieged city loses one population. Closest owned city gains one population. At the start of battle, all enemy units have 10 morale. That's a siege project. Baron's Palace can only build cities of another race. Oh, we're not going to be using that because we're going to turn all cities into Hobbit cities. Um, this is very cool and the Tyrant Knight is very cool and the final ultimate, ultimatum is very cool so we got three great spells there let's check nature um, support unit that man manipulates life and death as part of the natural cycle All enemies sustain five frost damage. All units, all friendly units become strengthened. All friendly units heal five temporary hit points. 
healing spell. I think we're good on healing, to be honest. Unit enchantment makes base physical and magic attacks deal 20. You know what I want to know? What is blight damage? There's no tooltip to tell me what blight damage is. Is that, a t is, that, is that poison or is that something in addition to poison? Uh, decaying means they can't heal. And do they take damage over time? Unit sustains five blight damage each and cannot regain hit points. Okay. Um, that's okay. Diffuse health. Target enemy unit sustains 30 blight damage. Friendly units in a 2x range. Okay. Summon a greater animal. I like that. Unleash the beast. That's also very nice. Totem of the wild. Spawns a totem of the wild, which spawns a random tier 1 animal at the end, at the start of each turn for 5 turns. That's pretty cool. Super growth. Uh, I don't want to do that. Unit and trauma, 20% damage. 10 health, gain demolisher, decrease number of units in formation. That is for only animals, which we don't have. So effectively, unleash the beast and summon an animal. This totem is okay. It, uh, in fact, this totem is very good. Um... Do I want to go something completely different? Whiteborn is very good. Weakening Aura, that gives weakening, which is a, um, they take more damage. That's very good actually. Domain of Death. That would be very nice. Um, okay, so that's a spell that permanently increases your mana for five. And we've got quite a lot of those in our domain. So that's quite nice. This is very nice. Oh, this is only for undead. Gives the target race immortality beyond life, granting them the un undead unit type. Life still, which restores... Okay, I'm reading this as it gives you a unit, and then life still applies to all of your people. Um, okay, that's tempting. I don't want to go cold. I don't want to do arcane. Do we want to do chaos? Um, Attacks enchanted units demolisher, which allows them to destroy for six minutes. Or so. Unleash the war hound, war breed. This is a shock unit, cavalry, flame burst, 20, 20 crit chance. Whenever this unit kills another unit, the killed unit explodes, dealing fire damage to adjacent enemy units. Wow. That is extremely good. That is... Wow. That is extremely powerful. Um, these two are, are... The rest of these are not great. I don't know about this unit. I've not really used this unit. So one tone for one unit enchantment. But that is... That is extremely... Is that me or is that enchantment insane? Wow. And it enchants all units. It's not even a specific type of unit. Wow, that's crazy. Let's keep checking. Um, I don't think I want to do any more Materium. I think the animal ones right now are not great. So it was basically this one, Tyrant Knight, which I love, the final ultimatum, and then Intimidating Aura. Okay, so for the sake of the playthrough, we are good 
we are orderly. Chaos seems a little bit... Uh, well, it's kind of opposite of order. Um, these are very good spells here. Um, so I think... I think I probably, if I was playing this without kind of a story or backline, I probably would go for that other tone. But we'll go for this one. This looks very strong. To the righteous is given the duty of bringing light unto those still in the dark. Whoever takes on this duty shall be granted the right of might. The errant seed must be ground beneath the heel of virtue before it can grow. Your enemies may cower at first, but your armies shall be ever emboldened by their glorious purpose. Thank you. I think the woman narrator in this game is absolutely superb. Okay, let's um, let's attack this big giant. We'll do an auto. See how we go. Very nice. Okay, we'll go back in our domain and heal. And then we'll head over to do that mission. Oh, this this guy's oh, he's gonna get a smack bottom. Oh, Sarah man, you're gonna get Oh You're pressing my buttons right now. Okay. We have full sets everywhere. I don't need to buy anything. Go. Let's quickly check what that is. Province improvements grant one stability for each adjacent one. That's okay. Your vassals grant 10% more resources in tribute. That is. At the moment, I'm on the fence between these two, but I'm going to wait until I've, um, I've got the city that I'm besieging. Gain 200 mana and 200 knowledge upon completing conquest of a city. Now, I don't know what that wording means. Does this mean if I complete a mission, I get 200 mana? I don't know what completing conquest of a city is. Is that if I take over a city? So, like, with this city I'm about to take over, will I get a sudden boost in knowledge and mana? Leave that in the comments if you know. I'm going to leave that for the time being. Wow, the Shire is motoring. Uh, Wizard Tower. I'll do the Arcane. Gladriel, good job. Aragon, good job. Orders required. You're pretty healed. Uh, how strong are you? You're quite strong. Where is the actual um, centre? Oh, the centre of this is the mission. Is that right? Am I reading that right? Is he the infestation? I think so. That looks like a challenging one. We should be able to do it with our stack, but it would be very nice to have a hero with us. And this Saruman is really pissing me off. Um, I do have 14 turns. Oh, what to do? He's just going to run away as soon as he sees me. Okay, we've got to deal with this sour man. Can I heal this? I can't because he's still in my province. Okay, Let's see where he goes.
It's a deal. Thank you, Gladwell. Actually, let's settle grievances. Okay, why can't I? This grievance cannot be traded. Affinity province improvement. Oh, is that the um, seed that she's planted? Why can't I sell that? Have you got no gold? Right, let's do... Um, let's check your items one more time. Oh, a crossbow now. Merlin's robes, what's this? Two resistance. Magic attacks ignore two resistance and two status resistance. <gasps> wow. I have not seen that. Let's guess. 800 gold. 500 gold. Wow, our gold's gone through the roof. Um, wow. I really want this, um, this pole arm, though. Let's just quickly check what that does again. Is it just straight up damage or does it have us? Uh, summons a Lightbringer next to this hero at the start of battle. I don't know what a Lightbringer is. I assume that's a tier one um, swordsman. Um, okay, so that's just a normal. So effectively, we're buying a free summons with this. But I really would love to put this on Sam or Frodo so they can ha have a. Um, uh, amount. Okay, let's have a look at this. Uh, crossbow. So that's a tier 3. Ignores 5 defense. Other enemies within 3 hexes. Other enemy. Is that one other enemy? 50%. Wow, that's very strong. How much did you want for that? I will buy that. Thank you. Now let's see if you can sell my grievances now. Um, where are my grievances? Settle grievances. Okay, there we go. So we'll sell that. That will make you like us even more. And that gives me gold. Negotiation succeeded. Um, Pact of Cooperation. Aragorn is going to be pissed. We've completely obliterated him there. Boost Allegiance, 143. Wow, that's still, still a lot. Yeah, so this deal, 84 gold. Oh, that's per turn. Okay, ignore that. You were complimented. Thank you, Aragorn. Let's check your um, spider leg. That's fine. Uh, bonded vassalage, nice. Okay, good. Uh, you are now a flower uh, bonded. You were insulted. Go home and get in the game, boy. Okay, I think we're two turns on the siege now. Two turns. I'm actually thinking I might send um, Perrin back. No, we'll send Sam back. Just want to make sure that we're not going to run into any trouble on the way. I should have done this earlier. Because then he can... Do we want to go down here? And conquer this as a free city as well? Maybe, I'll, I'll see. Oh, I have that just one more turn itch. Um, okay. Good day, wizard. I am Heathcut. He Heathcuth Knight. Oh wow, Heathcuth Knight. Better. I believe the rule of my father is failing. Unfortunately, I am eager and capable to step in, but I fear that uh, transition might prove ard arduous. 
I will help help you achieve your ambitions. No, I will not. Join me, Heathcar. Why rule a pond when I offer you the ocean? Slavehold loses 12 allegiance for 10 turns. Is added to your recruitment pool. Okay, interesting. We're not going to get you anyway. We're going to go for Legolas. So, wake your father, child. Do not deal with whelps. Um, so, I got a 100% success rate. He, Kath of Slavehold, dutifully obeys your command. Slave guns, 12 allegiance. Okay, good. We'll go for that one, probably. Uh, yeah, we'll go for this one. So that will give us um, even more quicker success on his vassalage. Message received. Uh, we may not be so different. Your actions are promising. By all means, continue. Yes, we are. We're on our way. Empire development skill. Shire produced a... So should I go for the con convent? The wizard's tower. I'm going to boost our research for the time being while it's kind of we've got a bit of a lull. Can you move? Oh, you can. Um, and your three. Oh, can my knight get you? Oh yes. Okay, guys, I'm going to leave it there. But in the next turn, I am going to punch Saruman in the face. Thank you very much for watching.